Okay guys, so it's your friendly neighborhood fun with AJ here again today, and today we are going to install some crash protection on my 2011 Ducati 696. Guys, so here's a list of the tools I'm using for this specific front fork slider and rear axle slider how-to video. Uh, where did I get the idea for these tools? Watching other YouTube videos. One of them was Clutch First. He did the front and rear in separate videos. One thing here is a Pittsburgh set of combination wrench, nine piece set. I think one of these sizes is going to fit the bolt I need to hold down. Um, I'm pretty sure. I, I've used this before. This is not brand new to me. I got this from Harbor Freight for like nine dollars on sale with the coupon. It's dirt cheap. It's not super quality. Uh, next thing is Loctite, specifically Blue 242, which is primarily for automotive use, motorcycle use. Uh, this stuff is not like permanent. It holds it in there from vibrations, your bolts, but it won't keep it in there permanently. Um, next, last but most important for tools, is you need a socket uh, set. I got a reversible socket ratchet set, 40 piece. I did not have one of these before. Well, I did a while ago, but I don't have it now. So I bought a new one. Um, this is from a place called EP Auto. That's a seller. I got it on Amazon.com, and it was about $25, $30. So without further ado, let's get into the whole process. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to install back, uh, rear axle, or front fork sliders first, but we'll see. Now the first thing we're going to do here, which I didn't see recommended in any videos, is I'm going to take a very lightly damp uh, piece of paper towel and a dry one. I'm going to clean the insides, just the outer areas of my fork, I guess axles, these aren't even axles, these are like hollow axles. And this is why I'm cleaning the inside guys. I don't know if you can see that, that's dirt. Now, the reason why I'm not like soaking the inside is I don't want these to rust. I'm assuming it's all like stainless steel, but that being said, I'm, I'm assuming it won't rust, but I don't want to take a chance. So I am just prepping the surface, if you will. Okay, so I've cleaned the inner, outer portions of the front and rear exposed holes for the axle sliders. Um, this is the rear axle, this is the front. This is from Motivation USA. I wanted the matching front set, but they no longer make the matching front set, so they recommended I get the Evo Tech. Why did I want the matching front set? I just like things all looking even, even and I don't like now that this is gonna say Evo Tech right there. And then this guy's gonna say, or no, this is gonna say Evil Tech right there, and then this guy's gonna say Motivation. But, say la vie, we'll, we live with it. Um, what I'm gonna do first is install the rear spule axle slider. So, once again, Motivation USA. There is the part number if you guys can see it. I'm going to get you guys closer, so give me one second to get you guys closer after this snap. Now I have you guys where I would call uh, rear axle height. This is the rear axle of the Ducati Monster 696 that I own. Um, not the cleanest, not the dirtiest. I'm now opening this bag. Let's look at these instructions. You guys can see that there. I'm just going to show you on camera. I haven't read it yet, so I'm going to pause and be right back and read it. Hey guys, here's a quick, quick little shout out to Mike. Hey guys, I'm Mike. This video is brought to you by MotivationUSA.com. This is what I'm watching for reference for where the crush washer goes. So there's Mike's video. You can see he has the exact same slider as I do. Um, he's got the crush washer there, the normal washer, and the bolt. So I need to find out what I do with that crush washer as far as orientation. So according to Mike here, I hope you guys can see all this. So mine's already have the thread insert, but one, two, that just goes like this. 
stops there. This is free sliding. Now, this is how they were oriented at the get-go, but I believe according to Mike, it should be, this was according to his video. So according to Mike, it's one, so I get the washer in there, then two, the crush washer. And then, you should be going like this. Like that. So according to Mike, that's how it works. Um, I'm not 100% sure because how they come oriented from the factory is like this with the crush washer down. So I'm gonna see what happens. <laughs> I'm not putting thread locker on yet just to make sure I have the orientation right and how this looks. But that actually looks pretty good. Let's see if it fits. Perfect fit. Now, I didn't put the washers on yet, but let's see. Look at that, guys. That, to me, is stunning. That being said, before I put the puck on, I'm gonna use my Loctite. And before I do that, what I'm doing here is using a ratcheted uh, wrench. I've got a converter here, which is going from a bigger source to a smaller. And then this, for Motivation USA, not this tool, but this specific bolt size, what is it, nut size, is a 10, a middle surface. Just want enough. But sometimes I go a little crazy. Next thing I'm gonna do is put this puck on. Being careful not to get too much stuff Loctite on the actual puck. Then I'm gonna lock that in. Then I'm going to put the crush washer. Finally, I'm gonna put that bolt on. And that's what I want. Now, what I'm gonna do is get that and Let's see if I, I can't, it's not tight enough to even start ratcheting yet. <clears throat> so that is getting on. I want Motivation USA to be somewhat even with the bike. So that's where I kind of want it, right there. Another thing I need to do is get a number 10, go on the other side with my wrench, 10, 10 there just to hold it down, and let's do this. That's pretty good. So here's the other side, right here. I've got that already in place there, which fits perfect. I'm gonna put a little Loctite over there. This time I'm gonna use plastic underneath because last time it was pretty stupid. That's more than enough Loctite for the whole thread. Good. I'm gonna put the washer in the orientation that I agreed on. One. Oops. One, two. We're just tightening down now. There's some tightening, and then on the this is on the left side. Now I'm changing sides here. Just holding that down. Tight. You don't have a torque spec for what you're supposed to do with this, so I'm just playing it by ear. It does say not to over tighten, so. 
Basically, I got it to the point where these don't spin. These pucks don't spin. So I think it's good. I also have Loctite on both sides, which I also think is good. And I think I'm at the point where if I go anymore, we're gonna have a problem. So I don't wanna go anymore. Use the torque wrench. It worked pretty well. Um, now what we've gotta do is go to the front. Okay guys, so we're back and now we're at the front of my Ducati Monster 696. And we've got a whole new set of axle uh, sliders. These are four front fork sliders. These are from EvoTech. Um, I, I'm pretty excited about these. I know EvoTech's a really good brand, just like Motivation USA. But the instructions are easier on this one. It says visit the site to make sure what you to do. I already did. They essentially say one side fits on a specific side, which I do already know. They already come pre-threaded. The bigger side, I believe, which is this side, goes on the left-hand side. Let's check, just to be sure. Does that fit like a glove? That fits like a glove. Glove in, glove out. Yeah, because there's a nut on one side of these. That's why they go in a specific orientation. And then they fit like that, and I think that looks pretty mean. And by mean, I mean in a good way. Now they go clearly this way, so you can replace these pucks over time. This feels like some high quality rubber. Rubber compound, maybe. So, let's get into it. This time, what I'm going to do, it's a little different. So this time, what I think I'm gonna do is, Instead of going through taking off the leaning side like I did it the last time I did this, I'm going to do the leaning side first instead of last. So, what do I need? Loctite. So, this is what I'm doing. Don't want to get on the plastic if I do anything. That's more than enough. Need to get that bolt on there very easily. Bolt is on. Wipe off that Loctite. And then, I'm going to just hand gently do this. And guys, this is a 13. Just so you know. That's all I wanted to do there. And that is on. Next order of business. Get these on. Sit that in place. Puck first. Then a little Loctite. Get this guy on. Next thing I'm gonna do is get this guy on. And final thing I'm gonna do is lightly thread this guy. Hopefully you guys can see all of this. Okay, that fits perfect. Okay guys, so my battery cut out there while I was tightening these, but this is what the fronts look like in their final form. I love how like, what's the word? Uh, streamlined this is. I'm gonna show you guys another profile. So you see, it leaves a little gap there, and these are tight, but it's not that bad, it looks pretty good. And then over here, once again a little gap, but not that bad, still pretty good. Um, I'm pretty happy with them. As far as which sliders were easier to install, uh, the Motivation back, rear, or the EvoTech front, for me, the EvoTech front seemed easier. This could all be because I had done one set and then did this one, the front after. But there was no lock bolt or lock nut, whatever you want to call it. And there was only one washer, one nut on each side, and that's it. That one had two lock washers, or one lock washer and one normal washer. So, um, yeah, that's, that's my verdict. Um, if you guys liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. 
If you guys didn't like this video, feel free to give it a thumbs down. Um, if you want to see more motorcycle content, I'm going to do moto vlogs. I'm also going to planning on doing an install, which I'll bring you guys up here for, of bar and mirrors on this bike. I'm going to remove these stock mirrors and also going to be doing bar end mirrors. Um, if you guys want to see that video, please subscribe and like and put on the notification bell. Another mod I'm going to be doing is changing all these plastic uh, reservoir covers here, here, and even here. I think I have one for here too. I'm not sure if I bought one. But I'm going to change all of those to uh, aluminum. Just bullet aluminum, just like what I'm going to do for my mirrors. Um, so if you guys are interested in that, that will be a video. Once again, here are my rears. Looking pretty good for Motivation USA. And my front, which are made by Evotech, but I also ordered from Motivation USA. Um, once again, Motivation USA did not provide me a discount on anything. They did not partner with me on anything. All I can say is that I ordered parts from them, they delivered them, and I'm a happy camper. They all fit. Um, Motivation USA, if you're watching this, uh, feel free to contact me. My email is in the YouTube description. I would like a partnership because I want to get this bike fully, fully tuned in. Um, yeah, until next time, guys, it's your friendly neighborhood. Fun with... AJ.